Morning. I swear a lot. Hello, ladies and gentlemen, and welcome back to the Total War Warhammer 3 therapy campaign. Uh, things are more stable, I suppose. We have expelled Vlad beyond the walls of the Great Bastion, but, you know, he's still out there, still being a problem. Mostly Safri's problem, but let's be real, he'll probably go straight for us, because that's what the AI does. I am Do intending to I head am? out there and deal with him once and for all, because apparently I can't- this army can beat him in combat, so that's good, but actually doing that is going to be quite difficult because it's going to be quite difficult because it just will be but we'll see what we can do but having a plentiful amount of bodies to keep the walls safe will do a lot to ensure the vlad can't get through eugene fafback is right there i wish toddy could go out and take care of him but he'll probably run off before he gets to do that or he'll fast recruit an army and attack again i don't know it's possible but toddy will be able to hold him back toddy's pretty strong and he's got a damsel with him i'm not too worried what I am concerned about is the endgame crisis that will inevitably occur because we are so far behind overall when it comes to tech. We're fielding Knights of the Realm, that's like the best unit we can field at the moment, and as we've seen, Knights of the Realm can be very good, but they're not quite enough, really. And peasants just kind of suck. It's an awkward situation. Hello friends. You want me to join more against them? No, not yet. I have to do stuff first. We're kind of friends with Dreicha now, I think, kinda. Or we're getting there. The situation with her should be improving. Let me just fucking check it real Yeah, 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 she likes us. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Things are going well. Give it some time, she'll probably give us some peace trees or something, and uh, alliances and such, and we can run from there. But the first thing the Tanker needs to do is get back to Shiama's Rest. Then we can fight the Aislings and knock them out. We just need time to get over there. Kind of worried about uh, Bamboo Crossing, though. They're attacking that with force. The Stig is there and causing problems. Are you at war? You're not at war with them, but you probably, yeah, probably have been in the past. We need to yes. get over there. Problems are occurring, and we need to be quick. And Tancred, as usual, has a lot to do. Good stuff, good stuff. We might even be able to bring one of these armies with my character to go take the Foundry of Bones in Red Fortress. It would just provide some extra numbers. Or... There's no one at the Fortress of Eyes, and I'm pretty confident that Toddy can take the Fortress of Eyes. Very well, I go. I will indulge you. He's a tough guy. I think he can do it. And it'd be a pro act. Ah, you spot an army waiting to ambush by undeterred by their discovery. The enemy is moving to intercept, and it's Vlad at the head of a shitty army. Which means Toddy can take him the fuck out. Now you might be thinking, oh, Foreman, would this not be a time to perhaps manually control the battle in order to minimalize casualties? And I say no. Because Vlad could batter this army by himself. He actually could. He could win this battle all on his own. If we go into actual manual battle and fight this, we will lose. I'm willing to lose three units of peasants to ensure that this isn't a problem. That is worth it to me. There we go. Well, now Toddy has defeated Vlad and gotten the trait Undeathed the Descendant, which doesn't mean much to him because he's not immortal, but when he does become immortal, that will help. Lord. Can you chase him down this hunt? You could. Chase. Noble. I think you should. I think you should bang Strike him out. Him I think down. you should absolutely knock him out. I think you should give him the old 2 one do one Be done with it. No problems. Okay, that's an interesting start. It's not what I was expecting. Taking and you should come back because you took more than a few casualties and you need to rest again immediately. Immediately upon saying out, you need to rest. It's okay. You did something good. I reckon I'll send Ragnarok to go deal with the Fortress of Eyes. I reckon he can do it. I'll probably get Samuel Ledouard to come with me to deal with the rest of Vlad's forces. Like, as much as I'd like to just give all of this to Safri or let Safri handle it, I don't know if Safri can handle it. And I feel like Vlad will just show up at the Bastion with a massive army and kick us from it. We should focus on making sure he is gone. Because he is a threat, even on his own, let alone with an army behind him. And then the peasants, or at least a army of peasants, can just sit on the bastion while the rest of them. I'll probably have Samuel Ledouard just sit on one of the bastion gates. And these two, Ragnarok and Toddy, can go forth and do more adventures. And that'd be pretty cool. I'd like that. 
even taking on one Vampire Ghost Army right now would be a bit much for these two, but taking on two, not a chance. They are at least within range somewhat of Shang Yang, so if they do move in to make the attack, we're ready to help. We have a, yeah, we have an outpost in Zhenwu, which is not going to stand. That place is going to fall very soon. Unfortunate, but it is the way of things. We'll just have to make sure we have enough money to build an outpost in Shang Yang when the time comes. Chi Mei? Yeah, we'll upgrade Chi Mei. Get some more money going. And Nangao could certainly do with making us some money, perhaps. And, oh, actually, you should do that first because it's good for trade. So, yeah, time of recording, it is four days. Four, four days. Just four days, not four, four days. Four days before my 30th birthday. Turning 30. It's happening soon. It's happening this week on Saturday for me. I don't know what it'll be for some of you guys. Might be the next day or whatever. I don't know how time zones work. But four days, I'll be 30. That's interesting. And I'll hear your demands. Not particularly bothered about it in the grand scheme of things, because it is what it is. It's not like I can do anything about it. I will turn 30. If only I've been born on the leap year day, then I'd only be like... Six? That's not how that works. I'd be under the age of ten, which means I'd have much more of my life ahead of me, but that's not how that works. Alas, it be what it be. Yeah, we're going to want to try and get a bonus against the Vampire Coast, because considering the general forces that these two are going to be going up against, if we can bump the stats enough in our favor that we can just get auto-resolve wins, that, yeah, that I would prefer that nice. very much. So now we will start moving forward to attack. You step up front just in case they have ambushes and they can hit you instead. That'll make me feel better. Faith Ragnarok. Blessings of the lady be upon you. I want you to start heading for the Fortress of Eyes. I want you to take it and then I want you to sell it to Safari once we've taken it. You should probably get a bunch of peasants because you're going to be taking that on by yourself. For now. You, yes. Toddy, need to rest. My strength and wisdom are yours. Your men took a few bumps. They're okay, yeah. but they took a few bumps. You know I, I reckon by the time Toddy has gotten to Come Shiama's up. rest and then waited a turn so that he can then move normally, we'll be able to declare war on the Aisling with no diplomatic penalties. So that will work out quite well. We have met before. Laurie. The lady wills it. You need things. I think you're going to be able to recruit one unit of archers because the global recruitment is packed. And we're recruiting four more peasants, which will bring us up to 65 peasants. So this will bring us up to 66. And that's literally all we can have. Not ideal, but, uh, well, you know, it's something. I have seen your heart. Did they take... They haven't taken Zhen Wu. Okay. Maybe we can get down there and secure it. I know that Siloster is fucking roaming around with a full army because... Grom Brindle didn't take care of her. Who calls me? And he's currently recruiting crap. Like, the grudge throwers are good, but... They have better artillery. Well, I don't think Grom Brindle does, but the dwarfs in general do. He's just not getting them, presumably because he can't afford them, or hasn't done the tech to get them. Either way, ergo, to summarize, he has shit units. Okay? Good. This might be a shorter one today, because... I'm fucking busy, uh, as I always am, but I'm busy, busy, uh, I go period through periods of busy, sometimes more busy, sometimes less busy. There's a lot of fucking album work to do at the moment because the fucking Velvet Dead album still isn't out. It's basically done. Like, I actually went in and did more vocals to finish it off. Like, that was the last thing I needed to do, and now that's done. There's still music videos or at least a music video that needs to be shot, which I believe I'm actually doing on my birthday during the day. Pretty sure. Yeah, that's on Saturday. Uh, so that's happening, and that'll be taken care of. And then finally, maybe finally, we can begin the process of publishing it, which isn't actually the term, but I'm going to use that term because it's most relevant to what I understand as a fucking YouTube guy. We're going to go through the process of publishing it, which takes three weeks, by the way. There's a whole processing thing that needs to be done. Uh, so I guess the album might be up towards the end of March, despite the fact I promised people on the Discord server that it'd be up towards the end of February, which obviously did not pan out. Otherwise, the album would already be up and you could safely ignore it. But no, it's not up yet. It's been very oh, no. frustrating, oh, but we're getting there. We're getting there. We're all very fucking busy. The three of us 
have a lot of shit going on, <laughs> just in general. And even finding a date in which we can all get together to actually work on it is hard enough. But then actually getting the work itself done, which is not quick. Like, Protector say, take for Earth. example... Oh god, Vlad is there. Fucking wonderful. Okay. But take for example the fact that I am not a vocalist, right? I'm not a singer. I've not been singing throughout my life. This Going is the first forth. time in my life I've ever done any actual singing. I uh, also only picked up bass like a couple months ago. Well, it's getting close to like six months now, Jesus. Point is, I haven't been playing bass all my life either, so I've had to learn how to do all of this shit and then do it in a not professional uh, uh, setting, but along those lines, I suppose, attempts to be good to not make a shit album. It's been very uh, vast paced. It's been very go, go, go. It's been very shit's fucking popping off, you know? I'm pleased with it, and I'm going to be very fucking pleased when that album comes out, because holy shit, I'll be on an album as a band member. Like, we have met before. actually, you know, <laughs> not, it's not like, I don't think this has ever happened. I don't remember ever doing anything like this, but not like as a, oh, a reference or someone, oh, brought, someone brought me on as a voice, but I am actually a band member, and in one of the songs I fucking sing 90% of the fucking vocals. That's a lot for someone who has never done that before. That's a bit insane. So, but I'm excited and dreading it slightly because people are going to hear me sing. Uh, and I don't know what they're expecting. Exactly, I don't know what they're expecting it to sound like. But uh, I think it'll be pretty cool. Even if people don't like it, it'll still be like, well, I did go and make an album and that's something I can check off of my bucket list for life. I don't have a bucket list, but if I did, I guess being in a band and producing an album would be one of those things on said list. And now I've done it. And that's not the only one. Oh lord, no it isn't. We're already working on the second album. That's already in progress. Sweetman has already written a song and he's like, Foreman, I want you to sing this. Like, he's already done it. I'm not going to spoil anything about it, but he has done that. And we have a pro we have projects in mind. We have an idea for a single, but which will be a cover, which people not, are going to I like. Strike you down, scum, if your words displease me. Fuck you, Vlad. Eat a brick. Yeah, we're doing, we've got singles in mind, doing covers. We're already theorizing what the third album's going to be like. Like, we're, we're working on it. <laughs> Stuff's happening, and the future is being considered. And you might be thinking, Foreman, wouldn't it be better to focus on this album first? And yes, it would be. But I'm not in, I'm not in charge of that decision. <laughs> so, yeah, there's been a lot of work on things that aren't the immediate thing that needs to be worked on, but whatever. Leaving it. It be how it be. Tancred has not replenished nearly half as much as I was hoping. I was kind of hoping that by the time we got to Shiyama's rest, he'd basically be at full health again, but whatever. My road is all. Hopefully Stig's army is shit, then we can just kind of roll over him. We do need to deal with... Ah, oh boy. She's level 36. Any legendary lord at level 36 is a problem. I don't think I'm blowing anyone's mind by saying that, but it is the case. That is scary. These two are not equipped to deal with her. Straight up. They'll put up a good fight, I'm sure, but actually winning? Mm, I don't know. We are going to have to join forces with the dwarfs if we want to win this. Rudy Schneider seems pretty fucking confident that he can take Solastra. Well, there is a decent army. You know, in the grand scheme of things, it's not enough. That is absolutely not enough to take Solastra. It's not even a full stack, for fuck's sake. It shall be so. Can I get there this turn? No. Which is annoying. I don't want Vlad to recruit more, but is there anything we can get you in this time frame? We could only get you more peasants, which... And if we did, it would tank our economy. Unless Ragnarok took the Fortress of Eyes and then we'd have more peasant capacity. That could work. Decisive victory. Yep, take it. Hey, we've achieved a short victory. I have technically, technically, I have completed a campaign on camera. Technically, I have done that. 
Look at that. Not bad. Not bad. I finally done it. Now, obviously, we're going to go for a little while longer because... Yes. Hey, I kind of want to see what the... um, What's it called? What's the thingy called? I want to see what the end game crisis is going to be because I think that'll be interesting. But also, I'm just kind of having fun. Just kind of want to keep going. I won't do like a full map domination with this campaign because that would be horrifically boring. And there are other um, there are other campaigns I would like to do as well. I don't want this to be the only therapy campaign. I'd like to do more with other races. I've been talking a lot about Cathay, so that might be a thing. But I have an interesting one in mind utilizing some of the mods that I have going that I think would make for an interesting campaign. I think that could be pretty cool, but I won't spoil what that is just yet. When, this, when I've decided that this is over, when I've decided I'm done with this campaign, I'll give you guys a choice. I know there aren't many of you watching this, but that just means your voice is more likely to be heard, right? If you vote for something, it's more likely to become the thing that happens because there are less people voting. So that's pretty good, right? Right? Yeah, that's pretty cool. It's pretty cool. Water pumps. We need more peasants. Desperately. Oh. And uh, Samuel. My strength and wisdom are yours. Ledouard, you need archers. You've got plenty of muscle. Now you need some arrows. You can only get two, but it's something. We must defeat Vlad. It is very important that we do this as soon as possible. I'm kind of operating under the assumption that we're going to lose some units soon, and when we do and our overall number of peasants drops, we can then safely sell the Fortress of Eyes to Safari and then hopefully get them to be our vassals or something. I served a lady. Every penny we spend no. on the Fortress of Eyes increases its value to Safari, which makes it more likely that they will become our vassals if we sell it to them. So it is worth it to build it up just a little bit. Even if it is just a little. Okay, Kunlan is now big enough to support this, but I don't have enough money for it, which is sad. Fuck it. Fuck the terracotta graveyard. Absolute garbage cringe zone. Get the smithy. We will set up Kunlan as the place where we recruit, like, our best knights. Yeah, yeah, this will be the place. And then maybe the last two slots will be for money, so that we can get a little bit of cash out of it. But Kunlan is definitely our most important settlement. Make some spices. Mingzhu. Oh yeah, I was going to get a fucking windmill here, but I can't do that yet. That's fine. Do it later. Has everyone moved? Everyone except Sir Toddy because he's resting. Yes. We're going to have another encounter with Vlad very fucking soon. I'm hoping with the amount of battles he's lost recently that he might start picking up some negative traits, but I doubt it somehow. He hasn't lost nearly enough. But this time, I'll be fighting One him with backup, and his army isn't as good. Me. And Loki has declared war. Ugh, fuck me. That's not what we needed right now. He's going to be going straight for the Fortress of Eyes, and if he does, I'm going to let him take it. I'm not throwing Ragnarok away to defend it, because that's a, that is such a monumental waste. The Fortress of Eyes means nothing to us. In fact, if they're about to take it from us, I'll sell it to Safari. May as well get some money out of it. I just didn't think they'd play their hand quite so soon. See, this is good because Vlad's army sucks and Isabella isn't in his army, so he's not getting buffed by her. He's still very strong, but I think this means we can auto-resolve this. So I'm going in. I'll fight him again. I don't give a fuck. Decisive victory. But wait, it can be better than that. It can be better. Lord and hero. Can you get close enough to actually help? I'd really like it if you did. It looks like you're close enough. Yeah, you're close enough. And we can get Samuel some experience as well. So that's good. Obviously, ought to resolve this because Vlad would do so much more damage in, like, actual uh, battle than he would in auto resolve. Thank you very much. I will try and hold the Fortress of Eyes. Here's what we'll do. Toddy! Sallying for I need you to ride for the Fortress of Eyes. Just so. Ragnarok, I hold the place. I fucking implore no, no. you. Actually, you know what? We don't need to hold the place. We really don't. Would you like the Fortress of Eyes? It would not. It provides such little of that. How much money would we get? Not much. That's not even worth it. 
his lips. Oh, Joseph. Uncle Kindred. Our business must be brief for our enemies gather. Who are you at war with? Slawhorn Tribe, the Fecundites. You seem like a good friend. We'll go friends with you. Yeah, we'll get some of this global this right. uh, uh, negotiations going. If we can get some Kislev units, they are good. Empire. Who are you at war with? Bess and Ling, yeah, they're Norskins. Natural enemies. Of course. Which makes us natural allies. Let's get some friends. Your friends with Kuron, that's good. Big money, big I prizes. Do you wish the lady's favor? Big money, big prizes. So much money. Here we go. Ah. Oh. Miao Ying. Miao Ying, my girl. Do you seek the Storm Dragon's wisdom or strength? Both, and I know they are both in abundance. I'll spend a grand to get things going here. Yeah, why not? Very well. I know, I know. I haggle so good. Protector, the mighty deep wood. Well wood elves are not interested. That's fine. Well, not yet. Anyway, they still like us. It is welcome. That's fine. They'll all probably contact me at some point anyway when they want uh, agreements and such. We should endeavor to protect our, uh, our Cathayan allies, because that's the only place we're going to get Cathayan units from. At least until Miao Ying agrees to give hers to us. But we don't know if and when that's going to happen. Who needs... Let's see, you guys need an outpost. You don't own much. Oh boy, yeah. They have an outpost in there. And Talabakland, oh boy, you don't own much. What? This is... Ooh. Have an outpost and Jade Custodians... That's closer to our territory, which means we'd be better able to defend it. Or help them defend it. So yeah, Tower of Ashung. There we go. We spent a bunch of that money we got to actually help our allies and build outposts in their settlements to help ensure they stay alive. I am actually kind of nice sometimes. Oh, actually, fuck that. Get that to level three. So we can get, uh, get this building. That's some good stuff right there. I have seen your heart. How's it looking, Laurie? It seems at the moment that, um... Salastra is unwilling to push too much further, though she might just be going for Volkmar. No! No, of course not! Okay. But these two might be able to push up to defend Shenwu. The garrison is fully replenished, with these two aiding it as well. That provide a decent defense. However, in order to get through, we might have to go all the way around. Fortune favors you. Yeah, we'd have to go all the way around. Uh, that's Your fucking annoying, but whatever. Yours. Can you get somewhere where you won't die from attrition? Nope. You're gonna have to travel yeah, remarkably yours. slowly. Okay, fine, whatever. Let's just get on with it. I defeated Vlad, and as a, re again, <laughs> as a reward, I'm now immortal. Very nice. I can upgrade them again with another point, and that'll be good when I get it. Which is not yet, but it will be at some point. She's kind of got all the spells she somewhat needs. Aura of the Lady is useful. If she gets hit by, um... What's it called? What's it fucking called? What's it fucking called? Spirit Leech, that's it. If she gets hit by Spirit Leech... I mean, she's got 40% spell resistance, and then the Aura of the Lady providing an additional 10%, which I assume affects her as well. Which means she'd have 50% spell resistance, which means those spells would be wasted if we went up against, say, Do you know I don't who know, Archaeon the Everchosen, who fucking glory. loves spamming Spirit Leech. You would have a bad time. We will see if we can fortify the Fortress of Eyes against the Blessed Dread. If we can't, we will sell it to Safari and fuck off to the Bastion. I'm probably going to keep the Red Fortress, but the Foundry of Bones Guardian. can totally go to Safari. Yes, strange creature. What do you seek? I'm not a cre- I'm a human. Come on. Could sell it for six grand, or we could continue to build it up to see if we could get enough out of it make it important enough that they might be willing to become our vassals if we sell it to them. Which should be helpful. More vassals is always good. Aids our power. 
I just hope they don't attack the Fortress of Eyes yet. I assume they don't have the movement range to go all the way there. That is a big assumption, though. Whether chivalrous or not, oh I god, don't even bother. Oh, I hate you. Why did you guys have refused to join me? Really? Come on. Cool, well, we have to deal with Morga now. Which, you know, he gives a good defeat trait, but he's tough. Out they've begun building an, out an outpost in Nangao. And they've begun building one in Shiwu, which is down here. Convenient, because that's where they are. Oh, look, it's the place I sold to Volkmar, and they've lost it. Uh, that's pretty funny. Unfortunately, that's a dagger pointed right at the heart of our southern territory. So, yeah, the Tancred's going to have to go deal with that. We can't leave it. We'll just knock him out real fucking quick. We can get rid of this because we don't need it anymore. That's about to become a town. That's all we needed in terms of growth. We'll get a defensive building there instead. I wanted to deal with the Aisling, but I'm not allowed because uh, it would be beyond foolish to just ignore Morga as he's right there. I fucking hate Beastmen, I swear. I love playing as Beastmen, let me make it clear. Playing as Beastmen fucking rules. They used to suck and now they're brilliant, but I hate fighting Beastmen. They are so annoying. They pop in, they burn one of your towns to the ground, and then they fuck off. Blessings of the lady and then they ambush you when you go looking for them. It's fucking infuriating. Glory. Replenishment here is a little faster, but... You know, if a snail went 2% faster than normal, that is technically faster, but that doesn't mean much. If we can get a defensive building in the Fortress of Ice, upgrade that replenishment building and get Toddy over there, I reckon we can hold that against the Dark Elves. My strength and wisdom are yours. Oh, he's there. That's interesting. If he had half a brain in his head, he would actually get Admiral Kunival some troops and use him to raid our fucking ocean territories. And he might do that. That is a thing he might do. <sighs> I'm going to need to keep an eye on it. Because if he does do that, that will cause us problems. We need more trade goods because that's where a lot of our income is coming from at the moment. Yeah. And we have a lot of trade partners and also prospective trade partners who we could also trade with to maximize big money, cash money, win prizes. Hooray. Things are still, things are going in an upward direction, but it it's like, you know, the foundation is sturdy, but it, all it would take is one sledgehammer swing to that foundation to knock the whole fucking thing down. chivalrous or not, I would... I'm not making peace with you because you won't make peace with the dwarfs if I do that and you will crush them. And I don't want you to crush the dwarfs. They're our friends. It depends on the endgame cri crisis, of course. If it turns out that it's the dwarven endgame crisis, did I pick ultimate endgame crisis for this? I feel like I did that. I feel like I did that to be funny and I feel like I'm going to regret it. I don't think I assumed this campaign was going to last that long. And that's why I did that. I'm going to regret that. As much as I'd like to just charge in, we need to make sure the Tancred doesn't get ambushed because those archers and those trebuchets will get wiped the fuck out if we get jumped. And honestly, the Spearman probably will as well. We need to fight him on relatively decent terms. What is your behest? Fortunately, Beastmen are shit in auto-resolve, so we should be able to just click him away, but not if he's ambushing us. My favorite Beastman Lord is actually Kazrak One-Eye. I just like how he plays. Let me just check to make sure. They aren't sending an attack yet. Okay, good. Right, okay. Toddy, keep heading over there. Pious. Ragnarok, just hold position. You're doing great. Lord. If it goes badly, though, you're going to wish you were fighting the undead rather than the Dark Elves, because losing to the Dark Elves is worse than losing to the undead, let me tell you. I'd rather be a zombie than a Druki prisoner. Glory awaits. Just, just putting it out there. Of course, Vlad is fortifying the Red Fortress. Guardian. We might need more force in order to take it. Of course, Isabella is in his army now, which makes that awkward, and uh, I'll figure it out. We might have to just lay siege and starve him out. Which is funny to think that you could do that to the undead, but what I mean no. by that is attrition. Oh, uh, just a little bit of... Oh, uh, fuck it. I want that armory upgrade. 
That will make us better. It's an interesting situation with the Red Fortress because Vlad's troops suck because he can't recruit anything better at the moment. There's been no major battles at the Red Fortress, so he has no... He doesn't have a large amount of corpses to call from, but the garrison of the Red Fortress is really strong, but he's not directly buffing them, but he will have given them experience. Ah, uh, he's recruited another army. Ah. Uh. Lord and hero. Ah, oh, he's being awkward. You're gonna have to fight. Every combatant involved in this is going to have to do something significant. Have to make some kind of significant uh, contribution to the battle. So he needs stuff. His troops still suck, but he does have shadow warriors and quarrelers, which are quite good. And peasant bowmen are always helpful. And we have enough melee infantry to keep them out of our faces. Grombrindle's now moving. Moving. He's now moved down to Genwu, which is good. That means that's being secured. These guys can pop down there to try and help. We might even be able to get some land out of it if we move quick. My That's not really my priority on that front. Tancred, can you take Morga? Can you attack him now? Not quite. You need. You just need to get a little closer. Well, but you I have go. fully replenished, and that's good. We can take Lear Temple, and then, hey, that's another region, which means we get more peasants. The moment the water pumps is done, that'll be very good. They're going to need their Lord. giant mass of numbers in order to hold back the Dark Elves. It's going to be seven turns before that village is built. Uh, which means the garrison here isn't going to get stronger for a very long time, and it's replenishing at an agonizingly slow rate as well, even with the uh, Pox Shelter, which only provides plus 2%. I wasn't expecting a oh, fucking no, miracle there. And sure enough, it's not providing one. I'm wondering if Vlad is feeling confident enough to just attack us without the backup from the garrison. Nope, he's not. I kind of wish he was, it'd be an easier fight. Of the realm, and I'll hear your demands. Though I wonder, thinking about it actually, I wonder if it might be easier to attack Vlad in his castle than to fight him on the field. Thank you for the money. Um, I wonder if that might be easier because the, the fortress does limit his ability to move. All we need to do is establish air superiority, which is difficult when Isabella exists, but I can't imagine he has many Vargeists. No, he has some bats. I think Emmanuel Posner is also a flying unit, which is awkward. Not much in the way of flying units. You have no flying units, and those are units that exist to die and gain us balance of power. And as for the Red Fortress itself... I think it would have some Var- it has some Felbats. It might have Vargeists, I don't know, I can't see. But if we could take control of the skies, then what I would do in order to win this battle would be take the walls from them, secure the walls, secure the gates, or secure a gate, we only need one gate, secure those walls, get gunners on the wall and have them fire down while the infantry hold, hold them back. It depends how actively involved Vlad is going to be. Also, we don't have a lot of magic. And that's an issue. I've noticed that all of the minor factions from that mod do not have the channeling stance, stance, which boosts winds of magic, so you're very reliant on the region you're in, and we've been getting unlucky with that recently. No. You're overruled. The units are shit. They just have a lot of them. Lord of Bretonia. This is the problem. However, if we were to win a battle, you know, the way uh, undead lose battles to his army losses is that their entire army crumbles, like it all just disappears. So if we could win a battle, that would be it. Right, there would be no garrison to hold us back and we could just walk in and take it. So if we attacked Aldus, denied large armies, so that um, there's like only a maximum of like 20 units on the field at any given time, we could work his army down bit by bit. I'm sure my character could go in there and absolutely tear through this. Maybe even kill him. How's my stats? I'm all right. I'm not sure if I could kill him as reliably as I claim. But I do have regeneration, so I can fight for extended periods of time and the Seed of Rebirth, so it's like 20% heal per second, which is quite nice. I will not. But, hmm. 
the hope is we'll be able to do all of this without having to deal with Vlad. But the only real way we're going to kill Vlad, I think, would be army losses. If the lady wills it, what we'll do Lord. is we'll attack. We're going to attack this turn. We need to do something. I've got one of two plans. I'm going to start by attacking Aldus and see what the terrain the looks like. You would give me a Pyrrhic victory, but I would lose ev practically everything. So Ludward and his entire army would die. And in my case, all of my spearmen would die, my gunners would die, half my pe peasant bowmen would die, some of my knights would die, and all of my artillery would die. Question is, can I do better than that? Because this isn't a guaranteed win by any stretch of the imagination. I believe that my lord could mulch a large portion of his army. We want to destroy Vlad through army losses, not through fighting him. My hope would be that we could do so much damage without incurring much ourselves that army losses would practically kick in the moment these guys come in. Let's give it a try. If we win this, the war with the war with Sylvania is over. This is this will be their last great stand, and if they fail to defeat me here, if they fail to win. I can just stroll into the Red Fortress. Take oh, I just realized I'm not going to get my vow because I'm not fighting a siege battle. Ah. Whatever. It's more important to kill Vlad. It is. So reinforcements are coming from that way, but we can move that. By denying large armies, what I think what that means is that each side can only have 20 units. Now, they'll probably have more because they'll have the garrison but it should mean that their strong units will filter in slowly at the edge of the battlefield. We won't get access to ours either, but most of Ludoard's army is peasants, so it doesn't matter. They're not particularly useful. We've got all of our best units right here, but we need to look at this. Yeah, start deployment. Oh no, the garrison still has to come in. Yeah, okay, cool. Uh, we need to look at this battlefield and pick a good spot to hold them back from. I mean, this is looking pretty good, honestly. I'll have time to set up. Put those guys there. By the time any of our units die and reinforcements can come in, that'll be more than five minutes from now. And it also means our reinforcements will arrive immediately able to help our beleaguered lines. Put you guys over there. What I am actually going to do, I should have done this last time, I'm going to put those into two squads. A little bit more mobility going there. I'm going to go charge right the fuck in and just slap as many of them as I can. I reckon I can do a good job. If there are any outliers, I might have the knights go take care of them. Like, those zombies could be crushed. I'll kind of pop you there, but, you know, I haven't decided what I'm going to do with her yet. Let's give this a try. By the lady. Set up there. Set up there. That's kind of a that's kind of a rise. Good enough. And you guys go back there. I'm just gonna charge the fuck in. Gonna absolutely bang them out. You guys, if you could go over there and crush those zombies, just knock them out. That will help us. And I'll kind of keep you nearby, because if they all bunch up around me, if they decide to actually properly mob me to try and take me down, she could cast dwells below and turn them into fertilizer. Straight up. I'm going straight in. I don't give a fuck. I don't give a fuck. You see your fucking zombies? I'm going to fucking kill them. Uh, more of your units came in than I wanted. I'm going to have to reevaluate. That's not fair, you basically had a full... Well, Vlad is already here. That's a fucking disaster right off the bat. I'm going to need to lure their, um... Oh, God, no, he's doing that. Fuck's sake. It's fine, I have regeneration, but I don't need to be taking that damage. 
and it holds me in place so that they can attack me as well. Come on. Lure him back towards the lines. What the fuck are the archers doing? My god. We just have to lure him back towards our lines, and then the guns will have to take care of them. Start to land. Oh, they're casting more spells. We didn't even land. Why didn't we land? Well, it is working. Somewhat. I really would like to land. I don't want them to fucking cast that spell on me again. It's a huge problem. Also need time to regenerate. You're gonna have to come back through here. Unfortunately, she's decided to jump them straight away. I'm gonna have to get over there quickly. Give these two an opportunity to back off so they can shoot her. I just did a lot of damage. That was quite nice. Vlad is on his way and that's a problem, it is. Fuck it, aim for her. I can take this one. You guys keep moving. You don't need to get locked into an unfavorable engagement. Where is the wizard? There she is. Uh, can you heal that unit of knights? We need to keep them healthy. Are the gunners able to hit her? Not really. All right, here's what we need to do. I need to get in there. You guys need to move out of the way because she is massacring you. And oh, there's Vlad. There's Vlad. Oh, I took a lot of hits there. Fucking shit. Come on, you need to get over here. Shoot her again. Oh, you all missed. Fucking excellent. You know what, don't worry about it. I just need to be healed. Oh God, she changed her mind again. Come on, shoot her, shoot her, shoot her, shoot her. She needs to go down. You guys need to keep moving. Okay, Isabella's dead. All right, that's a start, isn't it? Yes, yes it is. Now, we need to try and get the gunners into position where they can shoot Vlad because he needs to go. Shoot them so you don't hit our own people. Fight those zombies, don't directly engage Vlad, but instead use your influence to buff our troops nearby. Wait for it, wait for it. It'll actually be, yeah, do it now. They can't hit him because he's too small. Okay, here's what we do. You go over there. You guys come around here so you can get a good angle. I'm now healing because I'm in melee, which is very good. Okay, go in and take them out. You guys are strong enough. I know you can do it. Just need you guys to be able to start landing shots on Vlad. It's very important that you do this. I can just sit in there and deal with them. I am good at it. Gunners don't really have a good position. Try that. 
Are those just zombies? You can go fight them. You're capable. If you can kill their lords, that'll be a lot of bounce power gone. Maybe we shouldn't worry about Vlad. Just let, um, you know, let the... Just kill their army. Just murder their army. Uh, you guys can stop firing because you have no good targets right now. Shoot at them. He is dying, and that's good. Killing him will help. Now might be the time to shoot Vlad, you can hit him in the back. Good, good, good. Doing some damage to him. Unfortunately, I'm taking damage, but no plan is perfect. Off. That's too much for me. If he starts following me, then that's fine. Let him follow me. Start targeting them. He's getting works down. That's good. We're still winning. Buck not following him. I want every bullet we've got on Vlad. We're going to have to do a similar tactic to what we did in the last battle, but I'm going to be the bait this time. He's taking a lot of damage. Just keep moving, just keep moving, just keep moving. I'll keep them off. Not a great engagement for me, that, honestly, if I'm, uh, if I'm being honest. I should back out of there, that's no good. If we can kill Vlad, we're good. Oh fuck, I didn't- oh, bollocks. Ah, oh. God, I really just let them do that, didn't I? Fucking shit. No, they've just completely shredded our fucking gunners. Alright, well, that plan's out the window. I need to get out of there. It's not going well. Can we have some reinforcements, please? Fucking hell. What's guy got to do to get some reinforcements? Okay, you guys are good. Hit those black knights. At least I'm immortal now. Because none of our units have fled the battlefield, in fact, you should probably leave so that we can get some fresh units on the field. You guys, hurry up. Why are you so slow? If the handgunners could rally, that would be just lovely. If they could, like, I don't know, get back onto the fucking field. And gunners, please, come on. Enemy units will literally turn around and continue the fight. A mild suggestion, whereas my units will not. All right, reinforcements are here. Okay, good. All right, that's a start. Start fighting. You turn around and shoot. You. Tie up those black knights.
One of our best tools now is going to be using the, the fucking knights to kill as many of their units as possible. Are you guys actually firing? Kinda. Oh, brilliant. They've been shattered. Okay, good. Go after them. You might be able to lure Vlad away. He's regenerating all the damage we did to him, which is, is exactly as I feared, by the way. Peasants, go help. Didn't even see her get jumped. Didn't even know it happened. Run, man! There's too many of them around there. That's not a good scene. Please get them off the field, they're useless. Get you guys off the field as well. Could overwhelm those spearmen. Have to turn and fight. Hopefully, they can get there in time to help you. Okay, well, this front has uh, rallied. I suppose that's quite good. That's something. They've already broke. They literally tapped them and they fled, which doesn't surprise me. Kill yourself, keep us in the fight. I, if I get so much as breathed on, I will die, so I'm just gonna stay behind the line of peasants and buff them, I suppose. They don't have ranged units, so it'll be okay. I know that's a type disadvantage, but our troops are way better than theirs. If you two go around and sandwich them, we can end that fight quick. Then turn around and kill those zombies. We can just start trashing some of their units. And hopefully the mass amount of death will just lead to army losses. I don't know. Oh, good. Shadow Warriors. Oh, just in fucking time. Now close in on them and crush them. We're going to get a lot more use out of the knights this time around. So they're actually going to have an opportunity to do their jobs. Cool, yeah, you should take back your mortars and get a few more shots out of them. Why not? Kill them. Those zombies are already breaking on their own. Go finish them off. Look at those expert fucking elven archers. Miss. Miss skeletons. Those zombies over there will be a good next target. We just get to pick off all these things that are isolated, inflict as many kills as possible, do as much damage as we can. They should be fucking disintegrating right now, and I don't know why they're not. Probably because there are allied units nearby, but they'll die soon enough. All right, the Black Knights need to go. In fact, get them first, because we can't ignore them. They're roughly as fast as we are. Shoot them. 
Now, unlike against the Spearman, this is actually a type advantage because we are anti-large and they are large. Just kill them quickly. Vlad is coming, and that's a problem. I acknowledge it. I do. Those knights need to go quickly. More are coming, so you need to get moving so you can draw them away. Minus 49 leadership and just... Cr oh, there we go. Disintegrating. Thank fuck for that. Took long enough. Go, 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 go. You need to go. Are you just going to try and run past to get to the archers? Just fucking... They really take advantage of the fact that you can't watch the entire fucking battlefield. And they'll just ignore attacks when your units don't ignore attacks. Oh, God. Oh, the injustice. Oh, I... It frazzles me. Do not frazzle me. I don't like it. I don't like being frazzled. Do not frazzle Rolf. We will obey. You guys are still firing, aren't you? Yes. Vlad's coming. There's not a lot we can do about him. Kill them. Quick. You guys get moving. If the knights come forward, you can turn around and kill them. Okay, that'll have to do. Because otherwise they're just going to keep picking you guys off as you run. I didn't! Why am I flying? For God's sake! At no point did I give myself the order to fly, did I? Did I tell my lord to fly? No. It's almost as if there's a reason I didn't want him to. Stay where you are. And of course now all the peasants are breaking because I died, because, even though I shouldn't have. Oh god, I fucking hate it when that happens. Reinforcements do we have left? They are out of reinforcements. Our reinforcements aren't really worth mentioning. It's a whole situation. She's out of um, spells now. She can't cast anything else. Keep moving. They might actually have to stop and fight those because they're kind of penned in. They've come onto the battlefield wavering. Which is a little unfair. And Vlad has just pinned them all down right there by camping the fucking spawn. Which is just great. That's just what I wanted. I mean, he's doing alright. Sarah Ledouard's doing alright. Problem is now, if they fucking break us, we'll just immediately flee off the battlefield. What we need to do is get as many of these troops out of here as possible and use them as bait to draw their army across the expanse of the battlefield so that the knights can run them down. Those archers are stuck. They're not getting out of there. There's no two ways about it. In the light of the lady. Not going well for you, is it? At speed. Quickly. Swiftly. The lady wins it. You should go make sure they don't break. Hurry up and kill them. You don't have time to faff around. Glory. We are ready. 
Hurry up and kill them. And it's like, yeah, thank you. Fucking finally. God damn. Go, 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 go. Hurry, 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 hurry. There are some tempting targets around here that you could deal with if you move. Lots of tempting targets. Bring it round. Bring it around town. I don't know if army losses will kick in once all this lot dies, so you need to kill a bunch of them so that doesn't happen, okay? That's what I need you to do. I don't normally vape during gameplay, but I'll be damned if this isn't stressful. The knights have gotten all, like, 200 kills each. That's pretty good. They've done a lot. There's still more to do, but they have done a lot. When it starts getting a bit much, I think I can pull Samuel out of there. It won't be so bad. Quickly slaughter those zombies, and then we've got skeleton warriors over there to deal with. There's plenty to do. Vlad has used up his regeneration cap. So he's not getting any more of that. That's good. Kill them quickly. You don't have a lot of time. Quarrelers have finally given up the ghost. You know what? They killed 130, and I think most of that was in melee. They did all right. Samuel's going to have to get out of there. Oh, Vlad arrived a lot quicker than I thought he would, as his, his thing that he kind of does is that he's just very quick. Break from there. Go take care of them. You need to break out. Come on, keep going, keep going, keep going. Good, good, good. Okay, all right. Managed to save a good unit, and he still got most of his health. He was just getting a little scared. They're crumbling on their own. Well, he is anyway, which that's free damage. I like free damage. That's better. That's good. I like it. They're crumbling on their own. That's good. That's free damage. These guys are disintegrating. Marvelous. Another dead unit. Hidden foes were there. Okay. Well, we'll have to be careful of that. Every unit we kill will cause their leadership to drop even further overall. It would have been great if we could have killed Vlad, but unfortunately their Black Knights came in. I took a risk. It did not pay off. You know what? It happens. Now might be the time to actually split these into squads. One to distract and one to kill. The second squad actually has more horsemen in it than the... Well, eh, it's iffy. I think the first squad has just a few more, but not many more. As much as I'd love to use the infantry to do something, they are just not strong enough. Straight up. If we can get them to the point where they start crumbling on their own, that's a big success because they'll just die on their own eventually anyway. Okay, time to keep moving. That's as much as you can comfortably do. Having the knights kind those knights kind of bait them a little bit. Just get out of the scout of the scrum, get out of the scrum, get out of the scrum, get moving, get moving, get moving. You're on a horse, not a fucking lorry, okay? The turning circle shouldn't be that bad. Go. We cannot afford a massive engagement. You kind of, like, the reason I'm doing different move uh, orders in all different directions is because sometimes they need a little fucking jiggle to wriggle them loose of a formation. Like, they'll try and go in one direction, but there's literally one guy standing in their way, so they won't do it. Also, if any of their units are still stuck in there, the entire unit will go back if you don't keep giving them orders to get out. It's very fucking annoying. I think we're going to need to get Samuel with them 
to make sure they don't break. I have an idea. I have an idea. Let's use our speed a little bit against them. They're already dying on their own. That's quite good. He's turned around. That sucks. That ruined my plan. Vlad loves ruining my plans. He does. From his killing off their zombies isn't going to do that much to their balance of power. Just give them, try and get them to commit to this lot. I've got a plan because they're holding position. So if we can push these guys up a bit, get Vlad to start heading in this direction. Fuck it, charge them. And then get ready to pull out as soon as you've slammed into them. I just want the initial charge impact. They are not good enough spearmen to really blunt that charge. They don't appear to actually be interested in helping, so that's cool. They're about to die. I don't know why you rode off towards the horde. I don't know what the fuck you were thinking, but... Hey, am I a knight of Bretonia? No, I'm just some guy. You hit them in the back or the front, wherever they're facing. Oh, cool. We'll actually be in the back if they don't turn around. I hope they don't turn around. That would be nice. Get some free damage in. They seem resolutely determined to not turn around to face the horde of rampaging knights heading towards their rear. Did they turn around? No. Brilliant. Getting rid of a unit of Graveguard would actually do a lot to affect the balance of power. Just form up, okay? If stragglers get caught, then the whole fucking unit turns around to fight and it's a disaster. There's the other unit of Graveguard. We could set something up there. Start charging. These guys will die soon. They're nearly out. Sandwich him. Vlad is coming. Don't worry about that right now. He gave them bloodlust, which I don't like, but... That's a significant amount of damage. They are getting absolutely massacred. I think we did enough damage. They'll probably die on their own now. Pull back. Good job, lads. That went wonderfully. That knocked out their best units. Except for Vlad himself, you know, he is kind of a problem, but uh, one thing at a time. Every death, every death of a unit affects the morale of the rest of them. They're about to go. They're on their way out. I'd love to give them time to rest, but it's just not an option I really have. What do you beat? Do a little charge on them because Crypt Girls are bad at taking it. That was a lot of damage. Very good. Now back off, back off, back off. Don't let Vlad, don't let Vlad catch you. Don't let Vlad catch you. He's a bad, bad man. Get those zombies. We have the speed advantage and it's time to use it. Did this battle go as I planned? No, but I might be able to make it work. Vlad can't regenerate anymore. If we manage to inflict army losses, it will stay that way and he won't be able to heal out of it. They do still have Graveguard, and that's no good. Yeah, sure enough. You guys should pull out of that. We won't be able to set up a sandwich quick enough for them to avoid heavy losses, so they should just back off. They did a bunch of damage on the charge. Are 
Oh, it's a delicious, delicious sandwich. Oh, you love it. Oh, it's your big favorite. Charge the grave guard. Focus on the grave guard. The zombies won't do much damage, but the grave guard will. The balance of power is looking more positive now. It's a shame I got wounded, but it's not the end of the world. Luckily, I just got to level 20, so my character was not... Uh, was, in, was immortal, which means I'll be back in uh, some amount of turns. Because I beat Vlad, I'll actually be back sooner rather than later. And my army isn't even gone, either. Quickly wipe them out while you've got the opportunity. If Vlad's on his own, we can just cycle charge him until the battle's over. But don't let them hit you in the side. Dictate, you dictate the battle, not them. You have the speed to do so. It's funny, because if I had, like, you know, legendary lords and stuff, I wouldn't have to be finagling it this much. But I don't have those, so I do have to finagle it. Those zombies are dying on their own, that's good. There's a large unit of skeleton warriors that we'll need to deal with, and it'll be difficult to deal with them without fighting Vlad as well. But I reckon cycle charging could probably do it. Do it. Yeah, kill him, do it. Do it, kill him. Hit him with another little charge. The damage will probably be enough to send them over the edge. Good, good, good. Back off, nice and chill, nice and chill. Keep working them, keep working them. Get away from Vlad and then do a little charge to knock him off his feet. Cool, cool, cool. I don't know if that works or not, but... I don't think it did. No, it knocked him over. Fight Vlad. No, you'd win. No, you'd win. You wouldn't. You wouldn't win at all. Keep knocking him over. It does damage and it disrupts him. All of his army is dying. Absolutely crushing them. Master of Beguilement. Yeah, we should pull out then. Swordsman already having a bad time. You guys will hit him in the back again and that's funny. You're also going to hit the skeletons as well, which will damage them. Did you actually knock him over? I don't know. Pull out again. I feel like our knights were doing a lot more damage during the um, during the first battle with Vlad than this one. Bounce power's looking good. I don't think the death of that Skeleton Warriors unit will be enough to end the battle right here. But it'll be very close. Good, good, good. Good, good, good. Doing great, doing great, doing great. Keep it up, keep it up, keep it up. Don't let him catch you. Charge him, knock him over. Back off. Army losses has not kicked in yet. Wait for his little bonuses to fucking end. Keep going, keep going, keep going. Don't let him catch you, don't let him catch you, don't let him catch you. Ugh. It's a little stressful still. He is taking damage. Cast Iron Ring has run out. That's good. Pull back. Yeah, he took some damage from that. Now go hit him. Just bully him, basically. What I want you guys to do is bully him. When he turns around to attack, fuck off and let the other unit of knights hit him instead. Unfortunately, he was swinging when that happened, and that was pretty bad. Now, whenever my lords do that, they get knocked off their feet mid-attack and don't do anything, but hey, what do I know? There we go, knocks him on his ass. 
Okay, good. Cool. Run away, run away, run away, run away, run away. Get moving, get moving, get moving. Get moving. This should be rinse and repeat from this point. This is how you deal with Vlad. Slowly and painfully. Painstakingly. Agonizingly slowly. His leadership is getting consistently low. I mean, once he has... Once army losses hits him, we're done. You just keep everyone out of his range. And to that note, actually, it occurs to me. Move them further away. Now you guys back off. Nearly done. Nearly done. Look, he's nearly out. On cast iron ring. Don't bother right now. The exchanges won't be worth it. He's lost a lot of health though. And the Knights of the Realm have gotten so many kills. 300 each. They've absolutely gone for it. They got their yeah, Master of Agarment, which is annoying. Knights of the Realm are some of my favorite units because I think they are fantastic value for money. They are not the best cavalry in the game. They are not the best cavalry that Bretonia has. That would be, you know, Grail Knights and Grail Guardians. And Questing Knights are really good as well, but value for money time to recruit, how early you can get them. Knights of the Realm are incredible. Such good value. You can get so much out of them. Army losses. Good, 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 good. Brilliant. All right, you guys retreat. Just let him die on his own. Let him rot here. This is where he dies. This is the end for him. <sighs> Fucking hell. <laughs> that was so painful. My army has been absolutely decimated. Samuels ain't looking much... It is looking better, but not much better. But Aldous' forces are gone. The settlement garrison is gone. Vlad's forces are gone, all except for a unit of Sylvanian crossbowmen. Of course, the dead may rise again, and we need to take that into consideration, but... It's looking pretty good so far. Overall, it's going all right. This should be the end of Sylvania. I'm... Ugh. I was planning to have this be a shorter recording, because I was like, I've got shit to do in my general life. And, um... Yeah, it didn't turn out that way, because we needed to have one last great battle with Vlad, didn't we? Just one last big battle... Just to fucking wrap things up... Uh, until we have to fight another vampire count army, which I'm sure will happen at some point, but at least it won't be Vlad. Manfred, I can deal with. Gorst is annoying, but I can deal with him. Kemler is annoying, but I can deal with him. Gorst would probably be the hardest, because his zombies are actually good units. We lost one of our units of handgunners, one of our units of spearmen, and obviously I was defeated. But that's fine. Ludward got a vampire slayer. He deserves it for all of his efforts. He really does. How long till I'm back? One turn, yeah, because I, I beat Vlad. God, that is handy. We'll just get Gaspard Letra the door. My strength and wisdom are yours. Blessings of the lady be upon you. The super thing is, I know I'm going to auto-resolve this, and it's going to say, oh, you lose most of your forces, so I'm going to have to do that manually. But I'm going to do it next time, ladies and gentlemen, because I can't do it right now, because I'm running out of time. Oh, boy. Oh, Vlad. Oh, I can't wait to be rid of you. Oh, I really can't. You're going to be dead soon, and I'm going to be so happy about it. But that will be next time, when it is truly over. Thank you so much for watching. My God. Special thanks to Moa, Heartland, Tarek J, Draft, Dresso, Sion Distance, LOL, Final Legend, Etherbin, Linky, Zeon Cedar, Bimblewort, Majoko, Mymoon, Alkir, Honeydew Corporation, Sweet Baby Red, Lord Skellington, Jessica Kitty, Plutonium Pie, Dreamer Ghost, Leper Lullaby, K-Bub, Magic Cow, The Frostbite, Monsoon, Warmaster Oku, SCP-106A, Nomad, and Kenny T800 for supporting me on Patreon. Thank you so much, guys, and thank you all so much for watching. Ah, oh, it feels good to finally put a nail, a stake in the chest of this fucker.
finally put him out of our misery. That was a hard battle, though. I didn't think I was going to win. I thought I'd fucked. I thought the moment their Black Knights got through and hit my handgunners and I realized that my my front line had basically spread out and was all over the place and was getting picked off bit by bit, I thought the battle was over. I thought that had absolutely screwed us. But with a little bit of determination and some cavalry and good cavalry tactics and fast units doing what they're supposed to do, which is pick off isolated units and kill them, you can turn these things around. And Bretonia, I'd say, is probably a champion of a faction that can turn things around in a battle. But you really shouldn't need to. Honestly, if my tactics had been better, I probably wouldn't have needed to have turned it around at the last minute, but it doesn't matter. I still did it. And next time, hopefully, I won't have to do that again. But if we're flying Solostra, then yeah, we probably will. And that'll be tricky because she has guns. But that'll be then. This is now. Thank you so much for watching. We're up next time. That or something else. I don't know. I've got to deal with Morgur as well. And the Aisling Norskins are there too. There's a lot. But whatever happens next time, hope I see you there. Doodles. Goodbye.